Hello everyone, welcome to the first episode of Todd's Movie Reviews, where I watch movies, take drunken notes, and slowly descend into self-depression. What's that? Descend? More like transcend? It's... Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a stretch there. But today the movie we'll be reviewing is Transcendence by Warner Brothers Pictures. Now, I do have to warn you, uh, I would normally say this has spoiler alerts, but I just straight up don't give a fuck. So let's start off where the whole thing falls apart. Just ugh. Fucking terrible. But to actually review the movie, let's start at the beginning. In this movie, Johnny Depp plays Johnny Depp with some weird, unidentifiable accent. Sanctuary. Nothing gets through. No signals. He plays a scientist slash loving husband who goes to a slightly less successful TED Talks and preaches about the possibilities of AI. I call it transcendence. Soon after, these anti-digital activists are on a mission to set humanity free from the clutches of slavery by blowing up the very people they want to set free. They're kind of like the group PETA, but for people who waste too much time on Facebook. So now, at this point in the movie, they kill everyone who's working on this AI project with cake. Deletes all the information of the AI project, and then sends a very terrible assassin to assassinate Johnny Depp. Professor? He shoots Caster, or Johnny Depp, with a funny accent, and despite being at point-blank range, managed somehow just to graze him with the bullet, and then killing himself right after without bothering to make sure if Caster was dead or not. Well, it ends up that he didn't really have to make sure Caster was dead because the bullet he shot him with was laced with radiation! Now Caster is slowly dying instead of being shot in the fucking face in the first place, which would have just ended it all right there. Well, what's the treatment? It's radiation poisoning. I'm afraid that once it enters the bloodstream, the effect is irreversible. Out of desperation, Caster his wife, friend, and this basketball hoop go to work to save his life by simply uploading his soul and memories into a computer. I believe you can get that app on an Android or something. Eventually, Caster dies from radiation. Score one point for Madame Curie. Morgan Freeman does what he does best and narrates his death. My dear Evelyn, I don't know how to express the sadness I feel for your loss. And now we're all left with a sad moment and holy shit! Are you He's concerned? back! In computer form! Sorry man, Kiri, you just got dipped. Dumb fucking bitch. Anyway, now the computer activist led by the reporter chick from House of Cards who dies right away in season two. <laughs> Oops, did I ruin that too? Goes ahead and captures Caster's friend and warns him about Caster going online. You get it, do you? She connects it to the internet. The first thing it'll do is copy itself onto every single network computer in the world. Meanwhile, desperate to not lose her husband yet again, Evelyn does everything computer Caster asks, lets him go online, and by doing so is somehow able to create money out of thin air by a shithole town and goes to work to dominating the world. At this point of the film, Caster uses nanotechnology of some fucking sort, I don't know, uh, in which he uses to fix the weak and injured, and by doing so turns them into Caster's personal superhuman minions. Caster also uses this nanotechnology to form this black shit coming out of the ground, which evaporates into clouds and turns into rain, and now Caster has shit everywhere. Well... Can you not do that, please? Now, like any sexless relationship... I don't understand, Evelyn. Evelyn and Castor start developing problems. This is our future. No, this, this is not our future. You're not here with me. You're not here now. Castor suggests that he should allow her to be uploaded with him so they can be one. You fall in love with me. And she freaks out and walks outside. The activist, teamed up with the FBI, invades and blows some shit up. Evelyn just stares blankly as people are dying all around her. 
So like any computer dominating humanity theme here, the one obvious solution is to download a virus. So Evelyn volunteers to let Caster download her like before, but this time she'll be carrying a virus, tricking Caster and saving humanity. At this point in the film, I still have no fucking clue what Morgan Freedom's role has anything to do with the script besides just being Morgan Freedom. I don't know, whatever. This car flips over for some reason and this one runs straight into a wall when it clearly had enough space to veer around it. Just fuck it. He dies, uh, they live, the cost of losing the internet or some shit like that. My overall conclusion? I really wanted to give this movie the rating of meh. But seeing that this movie constantly doesn't make any sense, tries way too hard, and this bitch, I give this movie the rating of god awful. Shoot him. Well, that's all the time we have today, so stay tuned next week where I'll murder this cat, and like always, keep wasting time. Oh, God damn it.